Father, um, I've got an article here entitled, Two Eminent Churchmen Agree. Yes. Uh, that there actually is, and this is a shocker to a lot of people, yes. uh, that there is, there are satanic practices going on at the Vatican. Could that be true? Yes. You want, you want to say that? Uh, if I was a lawyer and you were on the witness chair, I'd say, would you say it? <laughs> it's out loud, yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Now, when we say in the Vatican, it's at a certain level. And um, there's no doubt about it that there have been and still are practices that are uh, formally venerating Lucifer, the prince of this world. There's no doubt about it. The Catholic Pope, the Pope who heads up the Roman Catholic Church, one billion members strong throughout this world, a man who is fabulously <laughs> admired. In fact, he has been ranked at the very top of the world's most admired men list for decades now. What if that Pope, the Pope of the Vatican, is not Catholic? The Pope is not only not Christian, but he's not even Catholic. The Pope, he has already taken the mark of Shiva, the Hindu God, in his forehead. He has put a statue, or allowed a statue to be placed, on a Catholic altar of a major Catholic church. And they worshiped a Buddhist uh, ritual inside that church. This Pope has embraced evangelist Billy Graham and all of the top Protestant celebrities. He has welcomed Muslim potentates and kings. He has romanced the, the chief rabbi of Israel. This pontiff has passionately, yes, kissed the breast of Mother Earth. So I ask you, is the claim that the Pope is the world's greatest religious leader, and that claim has been made by people ranging from Jerry Falwell to Billy Graham, believe it or not, is that simply an elaborate hoax? He may indeed be the world's greatest religious leader, but is it true that he is the world's greatest Christian leader? Might it be said that he is not even Catholic?